Hello, this is Dean Phoenix with a quick Final Fantasy X video about how you learn the Comrade Overdrive mode. Now, the Comrade Overdrive mode is one that you will learn from your allies taking damage in battle. So, uh, every time an ally takes damage, it will count as a turn towards learning the Overdrive mode. But, as you can see here, uh, Yuna and Tidus haven't learnt this Overdrive mode for me yet, whilst I've been doing my Overpowered playthrough, which you may have been watching because I kill all the enemies before they get a chance to do damage, so Yuna is only just learning it there in Zanakand. So if you haven't learned this overdrive mode, what you can do is you can uh, use some information. Thanks, shout outs to Hadian for his post from the FAQ uh, boards on Game FAQs from quite a few years ago, which reminded me of how to do it. So you see here that Tidus and Yuna do not have the Comrade Overdrive mode because they take a lot of turns to learn it. So Tidus it has to be 300 turns of allies taking damage and Yuna has to be 240. So whilst Lulu and Waka and some others have got Comrade mode, Riku doesn't have it either. And so we need these people to learn the Overdrive mode for the Don Tonbury trick. So what you do is, you may have just seen I crafted Fire Ward in my armour there, and what we're going to use is find a fight with the Fallen Monks in Zanakand. So you want to find these Fallen Monks, and it's this flamethrower guy in the middle that we want, so we're going to kill the other two. Now what you need to do is have somebody who knows Shell, to cast Shell on the three characters that you want to actually learn the Comrade Overdrive mode. So here Yuna has just cast Shell on herself, and uh, we are going to take out the two monks who don't have the flamethrowers because it's them we're interested in. So we need to take those out as soon as possible because these two guys with guns can inflict zombie and we definitely don't want that. Uh, so what you do is you make sure that you have got shell on the three characters that want to learn comrade. And if possible you also want to have regen on there if you've learned regen. And as you can see the shell and the fire ward that we have in the armour actually reduces the damage from the monk's flamethrower. Now you can also rare steal purifying salt but I'm going to do another video on that because the technique for doing that is slightly different. So what you do is after you've made sure that you've got shell on the three characters and that they uh, have fire ward armour, the flamethrower will be doing lots less damage. And so I've got Riku, Yuna and Tidus all in here and they've all got shell on and Riku is not wearing fire ward armour here just to show the difference in damage. And you cast slow on Riku and Tidus and then you cast haste on the flamethrower guy so he will get more turns and as you can see the damage is reduced and then what we do with Yuna is that she can do the actual healing uh, so she can use prayer and she will actually heal just enough with prayer to stop the fire damage from killing you. So every turn that this flamethrower guy gets, uh, he is hasted so he gets his turns pretty quickly and every turn that he gets he will be inflicting damage on all three characters so it's two turns of learning comrade so as Yuna and Riku get hit that counts as two turns for Tidus so in about 20 minutes you can learn the overdrive uh, for Tidus even and his is the highest count as well so it doesn't take very long to do if Prey isn't doing quite enough healing uh, then you can either um, dispel the haste from the monk or you can just use a mega potion or an albed potion uh, so you see here that Riku's health has just dipped into yellow and he takes uh, two he gets two turns there the monk does so we can just very quickly uh, use an albed potion or something like that and just to heal up a bit more damage so basically you just take all the turns like that and eventually Tidus and Yuna will have learnt the comrade overdrive mode and you can use that going forward so basically shell regen potions if needed and Yuna praise and then haste the monk and you will learn that pretty quickly. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you found that useful and please like and subscribe for more videos.